How's it going car people? It's Lucas here back with another video on our 2015 Toyota Sienna XLE. And it's actually been about six months since I last did a video on this car. Well, most of the reasons for that is because I was on a year abroad, so I was away for so long, haven't really been around it. And uh, I haven't really made any videos on it this summer besides this one. It is still summer break, but it's actually the last day of summer break. Today is Sunday, August 11th. School resumes literally tomorrow. But this is actually a 60,000 kilometer update video on this car. This is just going to be like a general update video on this car. I'm just going to show you how it's been doing, how it's been holding up. Typical update stuff. So let's go ahead and get started right now. Here is the key fob. Let's go ahead and hop inside, but this vehicle does have smart key access system. Gotta go to the other side to access the driver's side. There we go. We do have this little plastic cover around our door, as you probably, I might, you might have seen that in previous videos, but it means we can actually hit the wall without any problems, without scratching the paint, which is very convenient. As you can see, 59,503 is the current mileage, so it's not actually at 60,000 kilometers yet. So um, I apologize if this video title comes over to you as clickbait because it's not at 60,000 kilometers yet and I'm filming a 60,000 kilometer update video on it. But I think when it does hit 60,000 kilometers, I might find very little time to actually film a video on this. I'll explain why later. Anyways, uh, let me actually move the seat back a little bit because it's a little close for me. Perfect. And we will start it up. We do have push button start, so just put your foot on the brake and hit the button to start. Starts right up every single time. Sorry about the radio. <laughs> but yeah, as I was saying, starts right up every single time and runs very smooth. So let's go ahead and check out the engine for now. And we'll also turn on the lights and hazards. This is a very heavy hood. Anyways, as you can see, 2G RFE, 3.5 liter V6, 266 horsepower, and 245 pound-feet of torque. Very good engine. Very well made, reliable, pretty good. Go and look at the back seat. Everything is holding up pretty well. We do have a WeatherTech floor mats for all three rows, actually some back there um right there as you can see everything's doing pretty well one thing that i can say is um on the track i i, I don't know which one it is oh wait it's right here actually you can see this is kind of loose but you could easily pop that back in so that's no big deal and actually recently we have started to develop our first problem with this car it's nothing serious, it's nothing electrical, it's not engine related, it's something mechanical at least, but the problem that this vehicle has is actually really inconvenient for us. Let me show you. So let's go into the trunk. It does have the power trunk, by the way, but if you open it via the membrane, it would open up manually. Anyways, so here in the back, as you can see, plenty of trunk space behind the third row of seats. So that's pretty good. It's a very practical car. I mean, we've put it to some really good use throughout the time we've had it. Anyways, so now to the problem. So let's go ahead and fold down the seats. Of course, we have to fold down the headrests. Let's go ahead and do this portion first. Just pull on the strap. Okay, finally got it down. It's just not the easiest to do with one hand. Then we'll go ahead and pull. As you can see, it folds in like that. Then you can fold this over. Now, let's go ahead and do the other seat if it will ever go down. So you can see it goes down like that, but then, yep, it's stuck there because apparently like the spring or something is broken in this, so we can't stow the seat into this compartment. And I'm pretty sure some of you are probably thinking, oh, well, you, you have to take the bag out and that headrest. You're probably wondering why this headrest is even here. That's because the car seat's right there and it's easier to just take them out. So <laughs> yeah. There you go. That is the first problem that we've had with this car, and it is that the seat cannot stow away because the spring is stupidly broken, so now we can only fold it down like that and we can't go any further. <laughs> 
And as I said before, we do a lot of transporting in this car and some of it requires the seats to be stowed away. So you can probably tell why it's really inconvenient for us that the car is having this problem or at least um, the seat portion can't fold in because the stupid spring is broken. Anyway, let's go ahead and uh, put this back up and we'll leave it like that and close the trunk. Here's the lights. Funny, funny little story. If you follow me on Instagram, you might know this, or even I actually have a video of this car on YouTube, which is a video of our rental car, because um, previously we were on a two-week trip in the United States, and our rental car there was, well, a red Toyota Sienna, which looked very similar to this one, minus the fact that it didn't have any chrome on the door handles and different wheels, as well as different front-end styling, because it was a newer model, but... <laughs> My dad and I, we burst out laughing when finding out that we were going to be having a red Toyota Sienna as our rental car. Now obviously if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I have pictures of the car there, and I also have a review of it live as well. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop back inside and show you how the interior has been holding up, or at least everything up front. Because, really, besides the seat not going into the storage compartment, we haven't had any other problems with this vehicle, which is what I would expect from a Toyota, because reliability and quality is top with Toyota. Let's roll the window back up as well. As you can see, there are the climate controls, screen on the gauge cluster, and the infotainment screen. We do have the six-speed automatic transmission. Still shifts just fine, obviously. Everything still works in this car. We haven't had any electrical issues with this car, which is obviously what I would expect from Toyota, because obviously the seat problem is mechanical, so at least it's nothing electrical. So that's beneficial, I guess. We do, of course, have the sunroof as well. Anyways, uh, that's going to be pretty much it for the general update on the car, but before I sign off, I want to tell you all something else. I don't know if you can hear this, but there's some strange noise in here. I don't know. This is weird. Anyways, so since school is about to start up again, I think there might not be many videos from that point, or at least many car reviews, because for the first half of 2019, I was honestly on fire with the car reviews. And especially, 2019 started off with a bang for me because when I uploaded the video of that Toyota CHR back in January, which is now at almost 70,000 views actually, I mean, that that is crazy. I mean, literally, thank you all for the support that you've given me because <laughs> it's been awesome. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm not entirely sure how many videos I'm going to be uploading during school time because I'll be very busy. As you know with school, that's typical school, you're very busy. But if I find another car to film and I find a time and opportunity to film it, I will do it. But other than that, there might not be as many as before, that's for sure. But that's pretty much all I can say to what's going to be happening to car reviews for now. But I will tell you all, next month is actually the IAA, which is an auto show, which is held here in Frankfurt, Germany, where I live. And I'm going there this year and I will most definitely be making a video on that. So be sure to stay tuned, but that's not until next month. But all I'm saying is, don't be surprised if I don't upload for a while in the near future. It'll only be because I'm super busy and haven't had enough time or even had the chance to make another video. Anyways, that's pretty much all of the extra updates from me. And that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. So let's go ahead and carefully open the door and we will shut down the Sienna and hop out. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the 60,000 kilometer update video on the 2015 Toyota Sienna XLE as well as another personal life update. If you did, please leave a like or a comment and subscribe today if you haven't. Thank you all for watching. See you next video. Goodbye.